Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to set up your Eve Sissy client or Singularity server for your Mac. So, first thing you're going to do is go into your Applications folder and duplicate your Eve Online client. Uh, name that duplicate uh, anything you want, just so you can tell the two apart. Uh, in this case, I named mine Eve Singularity. Um, then what you're going to do is open up Terminal, type open with a space, drag your client onto it. My mouse is acting all weird. Uh, make sure that there's a space between the open, the path, and then after the path that there's a space. And then copy this code in. I'm going to have this on this in the description. Uh, paste it and then press enter. And if everything goes according to plan, Eve Singularity should launch. And then it'll proceed to patch itself, and here, mine's already patched because I've been obviously using it. So let me just log in for you guys. Now, th there's going to be a problem right right off the bat. Not f Maybe not for you guys right away, but I'm pretty sure down the line you're going to encounter this issue. So I left this in the video uh, for a reason. So the problem that I encountered many, many times when using Singularity on my Mac was that I would log in to Singularity and I'd be greeted with a black screen and that was it. I'd hear some sound effects like the main menu loading, I'd be able to click on the character icons to log into each to whichever character I wanted, but I wouldn't be able to see anything because I'd have a black screen and which you'll be able to see here in a moment. Um, just turn my brightness up. Uh, yeah, as you can see here we've got a black screen and in a couple of seconds you'll hear the menu load. Uh, even though you won't be able to see anything. You'll still be able to click on the buttons, but you won't be able to do anything. So if we wait a second... Yep, there we go. Uh, I can click on... Connecting. The button as if it were there, because it's still there, you just can't see it. And, you know, the, obviously you can't play like this. So, I'm going to show you guys how to fix this problem, and it's a real royal pain in the ass. So let's just quit. Oh yeah, and it also causes, like, immense lag for some reason. So what you want to do... So go into your Macintosh HD, go to your user folder, your username, not shared, your username, and go to your library folder. If you don't have your library folder, copy this code into terminal and just press enter and it should, uh, here I'll just show you, um, and it should bring your folder there if it's not there. So in this case, that's how it would look. And then you would go here, copy the code, library folder's there. The other way of doing it is going to the Go menu on your Finder and holding Option. That's the same thing. It'll It's just you know more of a shortcut. So anyway, go into your library and go to your Application Support and find your Eve Online folder. In there, you're going to find a, your P drive. The P drive is basically where you keep all of your where the the application stores all of your like window data, overview settings, all the really really good important stuff. Unfortunately, you're going to have to delete it. So in this case, what I did is I have a backup of my P drive on the desktop right now. So make sure you do that. Delete your P drive. I'm just gonna empty the trash. Uh, and then go back to your terminal. If I can get my window to back up, there we go. And then launch the code again, see where it is. Here we go. Uh, so type that code in, launch it, log in. And la la la, I'll fast forward a bit. Okay, as you can see, Eve went full screen. You've got the logging in UI, and then you'll be presented with the uh, the startup movie, and then you can log into your client, uh, no problem. So if we just skip that, as you can see, here we go. And now I'm logging into Eve Online Sissy, and everyone can have fun blowing stuff up, testing your fits. Uh, blapping capitals and, and all that jazz. So anyway, um, now if you feel like sticking around, I'll show you how to make a launcher program so you don't have to type in the terminal each time because you can't just double click Eve Singularity. It'll launch TQ. It'll launch Tranquility. Um, and that's a pain in the ass opening up terminal, dragging the thing in, and all these codes and blah 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 blah. So what you're gonna do is go into Automator, which is in your utilities folder. Um, and we're going to create a script. So just click New Document. Uh, cancel. Oh, whoops. I don't even know what I was looking at, and I just hit Cancel. 
uh, application. Doesn't matter. Go to your library, double click utilities, or single click utilities, then double click run shell script. Now this is where we're going to type in the code that it'll let you run the sissy client like a launcher. So delete cat and type in open space minus a space. Again, drag in the client, the sissy client. Now make sure to put the path in quotes. If you don't, it won't work. Then put a space and then again put the uh, server address. Now you can go to file save, put it on the desktop and call it Eve Sissy or whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to save that. There we go, Eve Sissy. Now if you want, here's what you can do. You can go to the Eve Online application, get info on it, click once on the icon, do command C to copy, close that, get info on the Eve Sissy script, click on the icon once and paste. And there you go, you've got a nice looking Eve Sissy script that when you double click will launch the Eve Sissy launcher. As you can see, server singularity, you log in, blah, blah, blah. Great, we're done. Now you want to log back into Tranquility, but again, we deleted the P drive and it, we're not going to have all of our overview settings. So what you're going to do, just go back to, and quit that your EVE Online folder inside your user, um, your application support, and then copy over this default P drive here. Uh, let's see. And then once you hit replace, you can log into Tranquility and you'll have your overview settings and all that jazz back to normal. So um, it's going to take a while. So there you go. That's how you do it. That's how you launch Sissy. And that's how you make a automator shortcut to run Sissy like its own standalone application without having to use Terminal. Uh, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, and also, if you guys want to play EVE Online and you don't know what it is and you somehow managed to click on this video, uh, in the description I'll post a link that will give you a three-week trial uh, to EVE Online. And everyone's happy. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all online.